What will the future of government look like in Utah County? Well, voters in that county are now deciding right now as they answer Proposition 9 on the ballot. Political specialist Lad Egan is live in Utah County with how this proposition would change things. Lad? Yeah, well, right now, Utah County has a three-person commission. Proposition 9 asks if that should change to be a county mayor with a part-time council with five members. Those council members would be assigned to geographic districts. Prop 9 is a yes or no question that has people on both sides trying to get the word out. Commissioner Tanner Ainge says he's for it because it would be a more efficient way to lead the county, while Commissioner Bill Lee says he's against it, saying it will grow government. And the temptation is, is out there with a blank check for the future, which will then inevitably raise taxes for us to support this form of government. And, and I don't think that we need to go down that road. Right now, because the three of us also operate as the executive, that means we're a three-headed monster, three co-CEOs. And that does not make sense. I mean, it, it leads to a lot of dysfunction. But Lee says that he wants to warn that Prop 9 would consolidate power with the county mayor, while Ainge argues that it would save the county money by having a part-time council and also provide better representation to residents both geographically and in the quality of people willing to run for office. So opening this up as a part-time council allows, I think we're going to have so many better people who aren't willing to leave their full-time employment but who care about the community to step up and serve. And I don't know why we'd want to change a form of government that's worked well for us and change it into a city type of government when, when our, our functions are, 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 dis, are, are different than each other. Commissioner Lee says he doesn't want Utah County to be like Salt Lake County and that a growing population does not require moving away from the current three-person commission, while Ainge says it's clear that the county needs the legislative and executive branches separated like Prop 9 proposes. Those on both sides of Prop 9 have created websites to detail their positions. I'll make sure I'll post those on our website, ksltv.com, so that voters can study up before making a decision. And Mike, it appears that a lot of people already have made a decision here in Utah County alone more than 92,000 ballots have already been returned getting it done early like to see that all right lad Egan live for us in Utah County tonight lad thank you